Right, we'll call them. Hello? Hello. Uh, my name's Dean. Uh, welcome to Rebel Shop. Uh, this is a little video I've done. Um, my girlfriend Hannah and I and our little puppy Jack uh, converted an old Bedford TK into a living vehicle. Uh, fully restored it. It's a piece of crap when we bought it. Um, it's been a lot of work. It took us about a year and a lot more money than we've ever imagined we'd ever be able to conjure up. Um, and yeah, we are in the heart of beautiful Somerset. Uh, this video is for uh, triballiving.co.uk. Uh, amazing forum, big thanks to all the guys up there and I'll probably also post it to like family and friends and stuff so we can show off what we've been doing. Um, here we go, Rebel Yard. I don't, I'm not good with cameras, you have to excuse me. Uh, Alright, this is our truck. Uh, hasn't got a name yet. Uh, we'll wait and see sort of what the name should be, I think. Uh, this is a place called Rebel Yard. It's all the rebels always down here. That's uh, Jake and Leanne, they're cleaning their double decker today. Hello, give us a wave guys. Let's have a wave bro. Lovely, lovely. Alright, uh, this is, uh, you might have seen this, it's the old ID spiral double decker. These guys have uh, managed to acquire it, tying it up a little bit, making it nice. Uh, here's our truck. Uh, said, I ain't got a name yet. Uh, I was going to do a bit of film with them, a bit less talking I think. Uh, this is like, this is the back door, uh, and this thing is like the horse ramp, obviously the horses would have gone up, we just got these little legs on it, that we caught conjured up, um, so we've got a little patio, and then these bad boys just don't screw when we want to move, which is cool, uh, got a gas bottle there, kind of leader's guys, you never know, would you? Um, so the Dutch door that we made, that, uh, that thing up there is a little walking lantern, that's got a little XLR uh, microphone jack, plug it into the wall, a lot of our 12 volt electrics are using them. Uh, you can use them for up to 5 amp stuff. That's our water heater, is fresh water tank, a little gauge thing on there, uh, made by some company up north. It's got baffles in it, which means that um, when we're moving around the water won't flow back too much, which is quite cool. It's my door, I made, I'm well happy with that. Uh, this bad boy, his little door, you'll see in a minute, our toilet's just on the other side of there. And, um, We've got a compost uh, separating toilet, it's a collection toilet, it's not really the composting doesn't happen in there because we'd have to carry a crap around with us for about six months. Um, I'm not about opening that, but this little bad boy, his little 12 volt fan out of a Japanese projector, uses like no electricity at all but it just helps keep the air circulating inside. And uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to my home. Got Got a big cupboard, this fridge and all the gas manifolds in there. The kitchen was made by Hannah, my lovely partner, with the help of uh, Peter, Eric's landlord. He uh, got a very posh range master cooker and it took us about a year to get a conversion kit for. Got Belfast sink which is amazing because you can hide all your washing up in there and you just don't need to know about it. You can pretend that the place is tidy when it's really not, which is a bonus. Uh, Pot slick and tap, so actually dirt cheap with eBay. These little light bulbs up here, I don't know if you can see them, they're called uh, SMD LEDs. Um, oh, I have a knock on the back somewhere to show, but uh, I won't bother. Um, so, yeah, there's kitchen, got a little sofa, yum yum yum, there's a table underneath the sofa that comes out, and there's a little bracket on the floor there underneath the rug for that. Um, again, here's another light in, there's another. SMD, SMD LED bulb, can't really see, but they use like 0 0.1 amps of electric, which is like absolutely nothing. Um, here's our bed up here, lovely, lovely. Um, this little round window is probably the best thing we've ever bought because at night it gets so ridiculously hot up here, it's, it's like Africa. Um, then we just leave the top of the door open and that, and we get the air coming through, and that's all I read. Super comfy mattress, which is pretty lush. Up here, for a little bit of indulgence, uh, we've got that top there, which looks like it's broken actually at the moment, ain't too hot. Uh, that's hooked up to a uh, satellite on the roof so we can get wireless connection and whatnot. And those little bad boys, little SNES USB controllers. Uh, we've got like a SNES emulator on here. So if we're a little bit bored, we can play like, all the old classic video games, which is cool. Um, there's a little cool through into the front. If you look in the front, we tied that up a little bit as well. Got some nice hessian matting all over the floor, on the walls, the sort of door cards and and the roof all done on this rather effective mother post fabric. Um, and here, it's a little bench seat which also doubles all our dirty washing goes in here. We lift it up, very exotic. Um, hide it then. 
These bad boys here are um, a couple of what we call scoops. Uh, I run a sound system with uh, with my boys, and uh, these are the first speaker box that I made. They got big 12 inch PD drivers behind them, uh, which pump out the bass. Which is uh, when we built the truck. I had a deal with Hannah. Hannah got a hot shower, and I got to have some uh, decent bass bass weight, which I'm happy about. Um, and then if you are got our wardrobe, all the water filters and stuff in behind there, I'm going to show that in a bit. And here we have a toilet. Uh, just show you a little structure, quite pleased with that. Little MDF timber frame bad boy. Um, I'll turn the light on. When you turn that light on, you know, it also turns on that little fan in the door. Um, and here we go. So like a wet room, wet room thing. Got a nice, nice shower there, nice hot shower. We've got the duckies to uh, keep, all, keep all the crap off. Um, the tiles are held up with a tray glue called Sticks Like Shit, which is amazing. We've done most of the, the horizontals with fiberglass, but we couldn't get it to stick on the walls, so after about a month of trying, finally used that. Uh, and all the wood in here, we've got a few coats of yacht varnish on it, which we can top up every year. There's the little light there, nothing fancy, although that was originally in the truck. Um, this toilet is the compost separating seat. It's a company called Separate, a Swedish company. It's dead simple, it only costs like 15 quid. And there you go. Uh, believe it or not, your pee pretty much guaranteed to go down the front. Um, as long as you've got a good aim. And then your, your poo goes into the back. We've got like a rhino tub there. Uh, and the pee goes into, uh, through a little U-bend sort of smell coming up into another collection bit. Um, the coolest thing is, is that we can take the ash from the fire. It's over there, nice burner. Lovely, lovely. Uh, and then you uh, put on poo, so it's poo from smelling, and also helps aid the composting process. It's really cool to take two things that previously were of no use to us whatsoever, they just get chucked or flushed away down the toilet or burnt off, and uh, actually make something inherently useful from it. Something pretty cool. Uh, right, that's the water. Um, we've got a drain piping around the roof, that all goes to the tank. And then we got like a five stage filtration process, which means that the water that we collect is uh, fit to drink. That's some of the cleanest water in the world you can actually get. That all slips out, nice and clever. And then that reveals this lot. Um, that's a little 12 volt, 40 litre a minute water pump, little pressure gauge. That is a 10 micron sediment filter. That's a five micron active carbon filter. All the water goes through there. Then after that, it's split off. Some goes to the hot tank and some goes straight to the cold taps. Um, but the drinking water also passes through under here we've got a little point of use, uh, 4 litre a minute um, UV filter, which is cool, which is the last stage of the filtration process. That's activated by turning on this bad boy switch here, that turns on an inverter in there, which then subsequently turns on that, uh, which is kind of handy. Um, electrics wise, oh, I've got a little list here. Uh, most bad electric, yeah cool, cool, right, doing well, doing well, cover most of the bases. Well here's our electric, um, we've got a couple of panels on the roof, which uh, in this lovely weather we're having today are hooning out the electric. Um, there you go, we've got a battery bank down here, uh, you can't really see that, you see the wires coming from it. That's a uh, 305 amp hour AGM VRLA sealed batteries, they're really posh. Um, we put them up second hand real cheap, we bought four, but uh, one of them was crap, but they're about 400 pounds each and we paid about 40 quid each, so we're happy that three of them are good. Um, I reveal this. Here's we've got everything going on. We've got a 12 volt fuse box there. Uh, that is a Stecker 3030 charge controller, um, which regulates the power between the batteries, the panels, and uh, the load unit. Um, this switch turns on and off the base amp, which is under here. Um, this uh, big mighty battery cutter switch here is actually our on-off switch for our inverter. We got a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, again, nice and cheap. Um, and that sort of runs these two sockets here, uh, which we plug sort of whatever we need in. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a pure sine inverter because uh, Hannah's got a sewing machine and if you use a modified sine wave inverter they don't really work properly. So that's a little treat for that. Um, down here, again you've got more of these XLR sockets, that's uh, for this uh, banker's lamp up there, which rather poor, which we had to retrofit with some SMD bulbs again. Um, we've got about 20 lot bulbs in there, and when they're, even, including that side, and when they're all working we're only drawing about 2 amps of electric, which is really really good for 12 volt. Um, it's very efficient and we're very happy about that. Um, in here also, that's a little uh, modified amplifier uh, which runs these um, speakers up here for the for the top end and the mid stuff. Again, little speaker boxes that we made up, quite happy with. Two o'clock, what is it? Two o'clock, tidy. Uh, and then, yeah, books there, books all up here. Essential uh, smoke and carbon monoxide alarm up there. Uh, Hannah and I in Morocco a couple of years ago and we almost died of carbon monoxide poisoning, it's absolutely horrible. Um, I won't go into that, but uh, yeah, so we're a little bit anal about all that stuff. Um, better safe than sorry, innit? Um, that right there is a variable laptop inverter. That means uh, 
that rather than uh, stepping up from 12 volts to 40, back down to about 20, which most laptops are, it's more efficient, it goes straight in there. That is turned on and off by this lovely bait light switch here, and again we've got XLR socket here, which we've modified for our laptop inverter, so we can use laptops up here, by using quite so much power. Up here, got some beautiful old dials, which I really, really like. Uh, this top one tells us what the voltage of the batteries is. This one tells us uh, what we're getting out of the solar panels at present. Um, looking quite happy today. And this is the load that we're using. As you can see at the moment, we're using about oh, one and a half to two amps, which is which is a uh, which is cool. We can deal with that. Um, so some electrics, all the water. Uh, so I'm going to do a list. What I want to talk about. I think I think that might actually be it. Um, so yeah, cool. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at my home. Um, I absolutely love it. More pleased with this than anything I've done in my life. Uh, it's beautiful. If anyone wants any like help or advice or anything, uh, hit me up, Mook Data, on the Tribal Living Forum. Um, and me and my mate Jake more than happy to give any advice on anything. Uh, also happy to sort of come out and uh, do any work on your truck, whatever it is you might want doing. Uh, cool. All right, signing off. Bye.